this is a demonstration of a neat, unique way you can use the new performance panel. So I've got a new project here and I click performance panel or I can also click the P button which shows the performance panel and I default to seven, I'm sorry, eight sets. And a set is uh, vertical. This is a set, this is another set, another set, set five. So what I can do is I can take a sound loaded into set one, take another set loaded into set two. Now I can trigger each individual clip or I can trigger the sound itself. So I could do this set one. And then go to set two. And I can layer as many sounds as I want um, that way. Um, but one of the cool things you can do is you can also map these uh, sounds to either keyboard keys, computer keyboard keys, or MIDI keys. So I can click the MIDI learn button and then just go over to my MIDI keyboard and press a uh, note. And there it's learned to that. And I can press another note and that one's learned to that. And then I can press on the third empty slot which is a stop slot, another note. So now I can switch between these three just by pressing the keyboard. And then stop. But one of the really cool things you can do uh, is you can search on vocals, take a vocal. Let's try one um, in swing. Okay, here we have some interesting ones. La, 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 la. So we can take this Juliet 1A, bring it in here, load it up in the audio uh, editor, and then I can take that and slice it up into small sections. So I hit slice two, and then I'm gonna slice by beats, and I'm gonna do every 16th note, it'll create 19 samples. So I hit okay, boom, there they all are. This is basically the same waveform, but spread out. I'm gonna delete the original one, and then I can double click the track or I can go in and select them all like that, but it's easier to double click since there's a lot. And then I can click, and then when they're all selected, I can edit them all at the same time. So I'm on the performance or the perform tab of the sound tab. And then I'm going to change them all to be, you can't see it, but 1 16th. And then I'm going to change them all to be one shot. And I am going to assign them to MIDI keys. So I'm going back to my keyboard. I'm going to unlearn all in group. And I'm going to assign them one by one by pressing, a, pressing on the slot, pressing a letter, or sorry, a uh, note on the keyboard. Pressing another slot, pressing a note on the keyboard, slot, keep doing, keep going, keep going. And you'd proceed like that until you map the whole thing. Okay, now I've loaded in a project that already has um, a vocal track um, sliced up just like we saw how we did. And I've also got two sets. If I hit MIDI map, you can see that C3 on, this is actually MIDI channel one on C3, is for this set. D3 uh, on the keyboard is for this set. And then an all stop is E3, so C, D, E. And then I've got these vocals assigned. 
uh, to ver vocal sections assigned to various uh, MIDI keyboard notes. And you can see them just by playing on the keyboard there. So let's play something. All right, here we go. See Mixcraft there? And now I'm going to trigger set one. It's all stopped. Go back to set one. Sorry. Now trigger these uh, samples. Pretty cool what you can do with the performance panel. And that's it for now. <laughs> 